In 1993, the FAA started warning pilots to stay away from a certain section of airspace over Alaska. The U.S. government was experimenting with a new breed of high-altitude electronic technology that was significantly altering the Alaskan airspace. The experiments continue to this day, and critics are warning that this project could have global effects that will destroy our planet. In Alaska, the rugged, pristine wilderness is timeless, most of it remaining just as it has for thousands of years. In the midst of all this natural beauty, just outside the small town of Gakona, stands an enormous and seemingly harmless antenna farm. It is a $100 million Air Force project known as HARP, and critics of the soon-to-be-completed facility charge it just may turn out to be the ultimate doomsday machine. It's got all the marks of Dr. Strangelove on it. HARP is an acronym for High Frequency Active Auroral Research Program. According to program manager John Hesher, HARP is a research facility designed to study the ionosphere. All the military have communications, surveillance, navigation systems uh, whose paths either traverse the ionosphere or reflect from it. And so we need to be very careful about what we know about it and how we study it. What we're interested in is, is what is the effect of a large input of energy on the ionosphere. The ionosphere is the outermost layer of the Earth's atmosphere. It is part of an electromagnetic field that keeps out harmful solar and cosmic radiation. One visible effect of the sun's rays hitting the ionosphere is the aurora borealis, known as the northern lights. The ionosphere also plays a vital role in worldwide radio communication. The first transmission of radio waves across the ocean were quite a surprise when it was first done. People thought there'd be no chance to transmit the signals across the ocean by wireless. And uh, in fact, what the ionosphere does is act like a mirror. And so you transmit a signal and it bounces off the ionosphere and then it bounces off the Earth. When HARP is fully operational, it will transmit extremely powerful blasts of high-frequency radio waves directly up into the atmosphere, superheating the electrons that make up the ionosphere. This will cause them to disperse, effectively punching a hole.